So let's start right now. Why would we wait? King of glory, feel this place. Just want to be with you. Just
get up for Jesus, everybody.
to this week's Sunday. Sweetheart, this morning, this is the last Sunday in April. We will never see this Sunday again forever. I want us to appreciate the name of the Lord for his faithfulness over our lives. I want us to bless his name this morning. I slept and I wake because of the Lord that sustains me. I slept and I woke up because God woke me up. Lord, I'm grateful this morning. From last week's Sunday to this week's Sunday, you have been faithful. Great are you, Lord, in my life. Great are you, Lord, in my affairs. Great are you, Lord, in my marriage. Great are you, Lord, over my children, over my business, over the work of my aunt. Great are you, Lord. In my ministry, great are you, Lord. In my destiny, in my career, Lord, you have been too faithful. I want us to open our mouth this morning to bless the name of the Lord. Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful because you have been faithful. Lord, we are grateful because you have been faithful. Only the thoughtful can be grateful. Only the thoughtful can be grateful for all the testimonies we keep hearing every Sunday. This last week, Wednesday was something else. A child that would have been paralyzed. A child, an eight-year-old boy. But God, this God did it. Last week, Sunday, there was a man that was bedridden for almost, almost, almost eight years too. And then God healed this person. The, the testimonies we've been having, the good report has been amazing. We must not do as if God is not doing anything here. I want us to return to say, Father, I'm grateful. I want us to return to say, Lord, this morning, for all your acts, your strange acts now, I mean, I mean, God has been so faithful to us. I want us not just to murmur this morning. Let's be grateful. It is the last Sunday of the month. It's the last Sunday in April. Open your mouth and bless him. I don't want to murmur this morning. Open your mouth and bless him. I will talk about his loving kindness. His tender message. I will share about his good report. Lord, you have been too faithful, Father. We have seen your finger in our midst. We have seen your faithfulness. We have enjoyed your kindness. We have enjoyed your mercy. We have enjoyed the miraculous. Ah, I am the one man that have returned to say thank you. I am the one man that have returned to say thank you. I don't know if somebody is grateful this morning, but Lord, I am the one man that have returned to say thank you this morning. Father, I'm grateful. Lord, we be exalted, Father. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. This morning again, I want you to thank God for the sixth man of the house. We cannot take it for granted. It's a dangerous thing to take things for granted. I'm telling you, to take things for granted is to be grounded. This morning, don't take things for granted. Let's appreciate God for God's servants. Let's appreciate God for God's servants. It is how you can appreciate your pastor. I want to appreciate God. Tell God, Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful for your servant, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your servant, Pastor Komede Komaya. Thank you, Lord, for your grace at work upon him. 
thank you, Lord, for each time we come here, we keep hearing your word. Your fresh, undiluted word. Thank you, Lord, for your word through your servant. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you, Lord, for reaching us each time through your servant. We are grateful, Father. We are not taking it for granted. To take things for granted is to be granted. I refuse, Lord, to take things for granted. Thank you, Lord, for your son. Thank you, Lord, for the sex man. We give you praise. We give you glory, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we have worshipped. Lord, this morning we have come to say thank you. As a person, as individuals, as a family, and as a church, Lord, we have come to your throne room this last Sunday of the month. We have come again to say we are grateful. Eternal rock of ages. The even though God, the everlasting Father, the faithful God. This morning, we choose to say, Lord, we are the one man that have seen your finger. We are the one man that have enjoyed your mercy. And here we are here, we, and here we are to say thank you. For the numerous good reports, your mighty acts, your strange acts in our midst. Father, thank you. Lord, we are grateful in all our individual lives. We are standing here this morning because you have been faithful. We are here this morning standing because you are faithful. And Lord, we say, be thou exalted forever. In Jesus' precious name, we have worshipped. No, if you are happy that you are alive, because some people of your age, they are in the grave. If you are happy that God has kept you from last week's Sunday to this week's Sunday, if you are sure that you are not in the grave, you are in the sanctuary this morning. You are not the mortuary. I want to hear a sound from you. I want to hear a sound from you. And lastly, and hallelujah from you. Hallelujah. How many of us know that my case is still different? April is not ended. My case is different. But we know that every month, God keeps speaking to us. God has brought his word again for the month of May. And we are excited. Please be excited. When the word of God has come to you, a testimony has come to you. I said this morning, be excited. His word has come to us this morning. And that word shall be from Exodus chapter 12. The book of Exodus chapter 12 and verse 41 and 42. God has been so faithful. In fact, this month of February has been full of, from the beginning to the end, it's been full of testimonies. The testimonies have been amazing, mind-blowing. And But God is not done with us again. You know, before you know it again, we're entering the fifth month. This is the fourth month. We're entering the fifth month very soon. Ah, in this fifth month, you will not be missing. In the name of Jesus. So Exodus 12, 41 and 42. Yes, church, can we read um, 41 together? One, two, go. And it came to a pass. At the end of the 430 years, even the self same day, it came to pass that all the hosts of the Lord went out from the land of Egypt. The hosts of the Lord went out from the land of Egypt. 42. 42, please. Mm -hmm. Unto the Lord. For bringing them out from the land of Egypt. This is that night of the Lord to be observed of all the children of God. God brought them out. God is bringing you out also in the name of Jesus. In this month of, of this month of May, before I would announce what it will be, there shall be plenty of deliverances from bondages in the name of Jesus. There will be total restoration of lost life in the name of Jesus. I don't know what you have lost in time past, but there shall be restoration in the name of Jesus. If you have lost time, lost resources, there shall be restoration in the name of Jesus. That shall be total deliverance from every misfortune and tragedy. No matter the number of misfortune, you will not, it will not touch you in the name of Jesus. Deliverance from poverty, from lack, from want in the name of Jesus. Total deliverance from all spiritual assaults, from territorial bondage in the name of Jesus. No matter what is around, happening around us negatively, you will not be a victim of it in the name of Jesus. Total deliverance from territorial bondage, unending celebration of victories for us in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. And so in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we declare the month of May. The month of, I am delivered from every bondage. I am delivered from every bondage. I want you to say that this morning. 
say it until it sinks into your heart three times. One, two, go. I am delivered from every bond. Again, I am delivered from every Again, I am delivered from every bondage. I don't know whatever bondage it is, but for 430 years, they were in Egypt. They could not go. It was a demonic bondage. The gods of the land held them down. But one day, God arrived, and then that bondage was broken. I want you to please declare this morning that, Father, as I enter the month of May, I decree that bondages are broken. Whatever it is that has held my destiny down, they are broken by the blood of the Lamb. In the month of May, I enjoy victory on every side. I enjoy restoration. My destiny breaks forth in the name of Jesus. Every bond that has been held, that has, that has held me down in any area is shattered. Every bondage is destroyed. You, the bondage breaker. Thank you, Lord. In the month of May, I come out victorious over every area of my life. I stand victorious in every area of my destiny. I decree that bondages are broken. And so shall it be in the month of May and beyond in the name of Jesus. Father, we are grateful as we have declared in your ears, so you have done it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. By this time next week, it is May. But what will happen in May? What is your confession in May? I didn't hear you. In May, as you step into May, what will be happening? So shall it be for you and I in the name of Jesus. But this is still April. April is not over. What is happening in April? As you turn around, what's happening in April? Your case is still different in the name of Jesus. We want to welcome everybody to church this beautiful morning. Help me welcome somebody to church as you please take your seat. We want to welcome all online viewers, everyone, e-members. We are welcome to church this beautiful morning. And we are sure that this morning, every difficult situation will bow before us in the name of Jesus. No matter how difficult it is, if the Red Sea, if there was a path on the Red Sea, then there will be a path for you and I in the name of Jesus. If you are excited, if you are believing, and you are ready for what God will do, can we please shout a believing amen? amen. Let's please sit down as we we'll watch the good reports. Do whatever you can do before. Do whatever you can do before. Do, do whatever you can do before. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Check that disease. Jesus the healer took it. I celebrate you, church. My name is Victor Nwodo, and I want to testify of God's goodness in my life. I came to the Master's Place International Church sometime in 2021 with literally a broken spirit because over and over again, I had searched for admission into a higher institution of my choice, but always met a brick wall. Other times, when admission will be granted to others into the same course of study in that institution, my name will not make it to the final list. Even with my high cumulative score, showing that I am overqualified. It was as though my dreams were being shattered right in my face, coupled with a great deal of money I had spent, all in search of admission. Alongside such devastating disappointments, I was sick with cerebral malaria for months. I was experiencing several episodes of that illness recurrently every month. I was placed on a heavy dosage of medications and all proved abortive. One time I almost died. Life became a living hell for me as nothing seemed to work, not my education or even my health. It was in all this devastation and torment I was invited to the Master's Place International Church. On my joining this church, I began to be fed the life-changing Word of God and the first thing I noticed was that my perception of life began to change. Secondly, in one of Pastor Kiki's messages, he pointed out the need to engage the mind and shun idleness. This spurred me to start an interim job as a school teacher. I resumed work, and one day, while in church, the Holy Spirit ministered to me to sow my first month's salary to the life of God's servant, Pastor Krode Kumayo. Connecting my admission to the seed, I did as I was instructed, trusting God on how I was going to survive.
during the financial dominion conference i was led to also sow my salary for that month into dreamland phase one and that became the trigger for massive turnarounds in my life church the first miracle ever since that month i sowed into dreamland phase one is that i have never had an episode of cerebral malaria to date without having to use any medication secondly i took the bold step to apply for same course of study at the same institution that formerly turned me down and to the glory of god i scored 80 percent out of 100 percent and my name finally made it to the first batch of those admitted i want to thank god for showing up for me even when i least expected it i also want to appreciate god's servant pastor scrudy and esther kumaya for teaching us how to engage heaven by the law of sacrifice thank you sir and ma i celebrate you church i celebrate you church my name is sheyi ojelabi from the master's place international church Ubomusho campus i want to return all glory to god almighty for his outstanding grace and divine favor that has worked and is still working for me ever since I came under this uncommon canopy of grace. I am an undergraduate student of Ladoke Akintola University of Technology, Lao Tech, with a profession in robotics, artificial intelligence, and internet of things, and with the application of the principle of diligence, innovation, and creativity I have learned from this house. I have been able to invent artificial intelligence solutions to some pressing medical challenges. With all of these inventions and my work detailed on Google search, the international breakthrough I was expecting was still far-fetched. Much more than my skills and expertise, I knew I needed to engage the God factor for my change of story. So I began to practice Matthew 6.33 as thought by God's servant, Pastor Gorede Kumaya. I took my kingdom service to the next level and keyed into the covenant of 90 days blessings and blessings reloaded, giving sacrificially even at the jeopardy of outstanding projects I had going. During the seven days of fasting and prayers, I engaged in it rigorously, trusting God for the year to answer to its name, Floodgates of Mercy. When the prayer request slip was shared, top on my prayer request was International Open Door. And every time Pastor KK would prophesy International Open Doors, my amen is always thunderous. Sometime last year, I applied for the Invention Fellowship for Aspiring Inventors and Researchers, organized by the Embassy of Israel in Nigeria, in conjunction with the Office of the Vice President of Nigeria. And ever since then, I never heard a word from them. I had even lost hope as I knew the selection process was a stringent one and tightly contested. But little did I know that God was going to daze me with an overload of his goodness. Church, to the glory of God, in March, I got a mail that I have been picked as one of the qualified applicants for the fellowship after over 2,000 persons applied with just 50 persons shortlisted word over. It was as though I was dreaming. Within a few weeks, I was on board an airplane for the first time in my life to Israel, honoring an invitation to validate and commercialize my idea. That scenario alone opened me up to more opportunities and privileges. Top people in the robotics and artificial intelligence industry have been reaching out to work with me at home and abroad. And some have given me an open check to work in high-profile organizations in choice places of the world. Much more than all these opportunities, I have equally floated my multi-millionaire company with funding coming from every part of the world. I have come to return all the glory to this good God, who is forever worthy to be praised for confirming prophecies over my life and for making me a living testimony that serving God pays, even after coming from a family with no advantage. 
I also want to use this medium to appreciate God's servant, Pastor Skrode and Esther Kumaya, for teaching us applicable truths that are relevant to everyday life. Thank you, sir and ma. I celebrate you, church. Is this how to clap for the dua? Only the grateful will clap the highest. I want you to know that God is working here. It's too much, it's too much. Lift up your two hands, let's give him all the glory. This is too much. Please, you can't follow what I'm telling you I'm feeling. Did you hear these things? Please, you can't. It is impossible. You can't follow what I'm telling you and be a failure. You can't walk in my footsteps and not make it. You see the two of them breaking grounds. That my first son came to this church. Do you know the meaning of cerebral malaria? No admission. Everything upside down. Then he joined master's place. And he heard the word against idleness. Then he picked up a teaching job. And his first salary in the midst of nothing to show for life. At the jeopardy of his life was soon to my life. And then during financial dominion again, another salary sold to Dreamland Phase 1. Everyone hoping who are. Number one, from the time he sowed that seed, he discovered that somebody that has been on every medication, cerebral malaria, returned back to sender. You see, that cerebral malaria is, is like junior brother of epilepsy. Very dehumanizing plague. Because it has to do with spinal cord. And then, before you know it, the admission that has been impossible clicked. You are not clapping for the doer. Everybody globally lift up your two hands and scream with me, it worked. Even himself said it. I took my service to the next level. I took my service to the next level. Please listen to me. I will never stand on this altar to lie to you or exaggerate anything. You can't follow Matthew 6, 33 and not make it. Then, from our Obomosha campus, that's my precious son, still an undergraduate, with a family that has no advantage. Studying artificial in intelligence and internet of things, AI, and etc. Himself said life can't continue like this. He plugged in. God gave him innovation and he said, I heard the message on creativity, innovation, and diligence. Diligence. Innovation, creativity. Then he brought forth, as it were, by the wisdom of God, an AI solution, artificial intelligence solution, to some pressing medical issues. That even Google is there, but yet no open doors. He said, I took my service to another level. Somebody shout with me, I took my service to another level. Please stop going around looking for who should who, somebody to pray for you. Then stop all those things. Please just connect and please position yourself. Lea can see a Brekotia Dakas for a believer to be a mediocre, for a believer to be underperforming, for a believer to lack excellence and the right attitude to work. He said, I took Matthew 6.33. I want somebody globally to scream with me. Matthew 6.33. 6, 
shout it authoritatively. I took Matthew 6, 33 to another level. I began to serve. I began to serve God. I began to serve God. I began, look, everything turned. He applied. For this invention, something that was organized by the Embassy of Israel, 2,000 of them <laughs> applied. And only 50 picked. With no influence from anybody. Nobody called on his behalf. Nobody stood for him. Nobody recommended him. Listen. God has the longest leg. Please. Learn these things and position yourself. It's never too late, sir. Before you know it. He was called to come to Israel. Before you know it, he said, for the first time in his life, he boarded the plane. Not, look, 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 not from Wari to Lagos, but from Lagos to Israel. Before you know it, international open doors. He said, the seven days fasting, I connected. The first <laughs> covenant of 90 days, he connected. 90 days reloaded, he connected, sir. He connected with the whole of his heart. Before you know it, he was in Israel. International connection, sir. He floated his own multi-million company. Everything turned. And he said, I have returned to give God all the glory. You are not clapping for the door this morning. Everybody lift up your two hands. Let's give him all the glory. Just lift up your two hands. Let's give him all the glory. Let's give him all the glory. Let's give him all the honor. Let's give him all the adoration. Let's give him all the glory. Everybody wave your two hands. I want you to learn from this good report. I want you to learn from this good report. I give somebody two minutes. Lift up your two hands and let's give him all the glory. Let's give him all the honor. What a faithful God. What a faithful God. What a faithful God. I still want your voice to be louder than the voice of your neighbor. Giving him all the glory. Giving him all the honor. Is this how to thank him? Is this how to worship him? We are going to sing and dance for three minutes. Don't sing it in a way we have to dance as if we have eaten. You have to sing it gently. Everybody lift up your two hands. Let's give him all the glory. Let's give him all the honor. Let's give him all the adoration. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, God is walking here. Oh my God, tell your neighbor, God is walking here. Now please listen before we go ahead. Please learn from these things. Learn from the, hear these principles. When you hear testimony, you know they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Listen to their principles because there is no gift of just miracles. It's the gift of the workings of miracles. If you do what they did, you will get what they got. It's the principle. You can't be in church now six months. You are not in any department. You are Sunday, Sunday, Dalafrim. It's only on Sunday because you are busy. You are working. Titan, you are not there. Sowing sacrificially. He says, sir, thank you for teaching us the law of sacrificial sowing. Thank you for teaching us how to engage heaven. And everything turned. The two of them never met me for prayer. I didn't pray for any of these two. Never. Except what they follow. Le Grigatia Dakasia Dakaras. Those who follow principles eventually become principals. They rule over life. They rule over life. Three minutes, let's worship him and thank him. Tell your, give your neighbor a high five. Tell your neighbor it works. Louder and louder. Tell your neighbor it works. Let's go. Tamu no basic ima, data muna for ye. Tamu no basic ima, 
lift up your two hands and scream with me. We give you praise. Louder, louder. Louder, louder. Louder and higher. Give your neighbor a high five and tell your neighbor I celebrate you. Please be seated. Quickly this morning, it will be line upon line and precept upon precept. Solving life's difficult problems, part one. Solving life's difficult problems, part one. This is very, very important for you to know. Life will be as good as the problems you solve. And life will be as bad as the problems you don't solve. The essence of problems is that they must be solved. The purpose of problems is that they must be solved. The size of the problems you solve will determine perhaps the size of your peace. The size of the problems you solve will determine the size of your wealth. As a matter of fact, wealth is man's ability and capacity to engage in the covenant of God in the kingdom and then to solve problems. It is important to note this. A life that doesn't solve problems is the real problem. A life that doesn't solve problems is the real problem. Lembri and their sotolia dakas. Ebi and their satos. Even Jesus came, not for fun, but to solve a problem that no one has been able to solve. Jesus came to solve the problem of sin, redeem us, and give us salvation. Everything in your body solves a problem. Your eyes sees, your ear hears, your nose smells and breathes. There is no organ in your body and my body that doesn't solve a problem. If there is no organ in your body that doesn't solve a problem, how come your entire life does not solve problems? How come? The truth is this. More often than not, life can be complex. Life can look as if it's difficult. And you need to note this. Every problem in life is a wisdom problem. As a matter of fact, you don't have a career problem. You have a wisdom problem. You don't have a money problem. You have a wisdom problem. Don't think you have a marital problem. You have a wisdom problem. Every problem is a test of your wisdom. Every difficulty is a test of your wisdom. Every challenge is a test of your wisdom. Every difficulty is a test of your wisdom. Every challenge is a test of your wisdom. Lebri and their asoto libre kitish. Lian di si a bricoti a bricotia agash. The master solution to all the problems of life. Listen, no matter how complex, no matter how complicated, suddenly <laughs> Goliath appeared. You can't equate killing a Goliath to killing a mosquito. Please listen. If you don't solve problems, you are the problem. You will only be remembered for two things. The problems you solve or the problems you create. The problems you solve or the problems you refuse to solve. Stop complaining about problems. Solve them. 
Stop saying, come and look at what is happening to me. Everybody knows this. Your adversity is your opportunity. Show me your problems and I show you your opportunity. If you can point your problems to me, I point your opportunities to you. Show me your challenges and I show you your prosperity. Your warfare is bringing your welfare. The green and the asotolibri and the asotolia bracoches. Please, let me tell you the truth. Love problems. You are silent, I know. Well, may my God give you more problems to solve. Yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of believers run away from problems. In fact, as a matter of fact, <laughs> a lot of people want a life that is just peaceful. I don't want anything to challenge me. I don't want anybody to talk against me. I want to cut my clothes, I, I cut my clothes according to my size or whatever they call it. I don't want this. I don't want that. I don't want anything to stress me. Welcome to the grave. And <laughs> may your grave not even be some graveyards in Nigeria. We are after burying you. Somebody can still come and remove you, remove your leg. We are, they can still dump somebody on you the other day. The next day, I'm telling you the truth. Listen, a brekotia, a gekotia decay. What therefore is the master solution to all the problems of life? Wisdom is the solution. Wisdom is the solution to all the problems of life. Listen again, you will never be better than the problems you solve. Never. Listen, please, God's people. The quality of your life will never be better than the quality and the quantity of problems you solve. Never in this life. Never. The brief and the astrotelia dakars. Lisi gatushia dukos. Look at your neighbor and then ask your neighbor, are you a problem solver? I want you to know problem solvers don't beg for favor. Problem solvers don't fight for recognition. Problem solvers don't fight for preference. They are contributors. They naturally excel in any environment. I'm speaking to somebody globally this morning. Receive grace to be a problem solver. Amen. What are you doing with the same problem six months? What have you done about it? Look at me, your pastor. I don't fold my hands. If I'm somebody that folds my hands and I'm just walking, looking rather. If I fold my hands, I'm just looking. We won't be building. I am intense. Deliberate. Zero discouragement. Libri and their sotolia ashikatos. Anyone that can solve problem is worse than the problem. If you, can, if you cannot solve problem, you are worse than the problem. It's like a living dead. Please open with me this morning to Proverbs chapter 3. Let's take it from verse 13. NLT. Clacosia Katas. No, no, I want you to follow me carefully. And I will be picking essentials. Proverbs 3, 13 to 20, perhaps. Please follow me. Everybody, shout with me. Wisdom is the master solution to all the problems of life. Now, I want you to look at from verse 13. Joyful is the person who finds wisdom, the one who gains understanding. Joy is not because you have car, house, money, or anything. You will be as joyful as you are wise. The wiser you are, sir, the more joyful you will be. The wiser you are, the wealthier you will be. The wiser you are, the happier you will be. Look at a lot of things happening now on social media. Just an incident. Listen to me. The world is full of fools. 
People don't know anything. They don't know anything. Joyful is any man that finds wisdom and gain understanding. Especially in this generation with a lot of distractions on social media and a lot of distorted truth, half truth and pure lies, exaggerated, one-sided, unbalanced, quashokot facts that are totally unbiblical. But because people are not wise, believe me, people are not wise. People are not wise. Every marital problem is because there is no wisdom. Every marital problem, if you lack joy, you have not found wisdom for that thing. You have not found wisdom. If you lack joy, you have not found wisdom. Now, let's continue. Look at verse 14. For wisdom is more profitable than silver. And our wages are better than gold. Wisdom is more profitable than silver. Wisdom, we pay you more than gold, we pay you. Therefore, choose wisdom, not money. Because wisdom will bring money. You see, there are some people listening to me this morning. If I put wisdom on my right hand, palm, and 10 million naira on my left, you already know what you are saying in your heart. <laughs> And I tell you, pick one. You will tell yourself, wisdom, I beg, stay with Pastor KK. <laughs> I, I go come after you later. I go, Naira, I need, I beg. Those who choose money at the expense of wisdom just manifested their folly. Because money without wisdom will kill you. It will even disappear. You will not even know how to multiply it. Listen, he said, wisdom will pay you more than gold and silver. Wisdom. If you are poor, you don't have money problem. You have wisdom problem. If your marriage is in crisis, you, you don't have marital problem. You have wisdom problem. If your entire life is upside down, you are not enjoying favor. Things are not working. It's like all the curses in your family are fighting against you. It is wisdom you lack. It is wisdom you lack. First lady is the closest person to me. There are some things you say, nothing will make me believe it in this life. And no matter who is saying it, I will never, because it's against the wisdom of God. There are all kinds of wisdom, and the wisdom of God is the highest form of wisdom. You are living this first service decked with the wisdom of God. Amen. Capacity to solve problems. Operating at higher dimensions. That no principality and power, no corny wisdom of the 419s can beat. I operate a dimension of wisdom that even principalities and power, they wonder. The crickets here are get a cash. There is no problem that wisdom can solve. There is no situation that wisdom can handle. There is no challenge. Please, no matter how complex that situation can, that wisdom can subdue. You can't have that wisdom and lack gold. You can't have that wisdom and lack silver. Quickly, wisdom is more precious than rubies. Hey, nothing you desire can compare with wisdom. Please listen. Nothing you desire. If you are wise, you are the most valuable person on earth. Please listen. A lot of people, even in the church, I'm sorry, they are not wise. Their life is not governed by discretion. Today, a lot of people ask me, how come out of everyone that left winners, God is helping you like this? And you have such a covenant relationship with our father. Bishop David Oedekmo. Somebody shout with me. Say wisdom. wisdom. Louder and louder. Say wisdom. wisdom. For the last time, say wisdom. wisdom. 
Even Jesus is not just the power of God. It's the power and the wisdom of God. Because power without wisdom will destroy. Electricity in your house without wisdom. You will electrocute everybody. You know, I'm telling you. It's wisdom that helps you to know what, when to plug, what to plug. When to up the iron. Even wisdom to regulate the temperature of the iron. Baby, in those other, can you regulate life wisely? The way you regulate, look at the, the texture of the clothes. 100% cotton. There is a temperature level that we burn the cloth to pieces and ashes. And yet, you regulate it. You put water to steam it. Do you steam your life? Do you regulate relationships? Are you wise in your approach? In your financial dealings, are you wise? You are not lying by saying, I don't care. We know you are a fool. Have you not seen people? I don't care. Whatever should happen, should happen. With humility, look at your neighbor and say, you don't care? I'm sorry, baby. Fool, get off my way. I'm sorry. You see people, I don't care. You talk the way you feel. You think you say, you are bitter, you express it. What are you doing? You are ruining your life. Baby, you are practically setting your life on fire. Practically. There is a wisdom with which the finance of this ministry is organized. Every income we save 40% is the reason we are able to build. If you drop any money in this church, 40% goes to a particular account to save. That's why we can be removing millions and be doing things. And we still so dangerously. It's 25 years, this August 16, I have never raised my hand. I have never raised my mouth. She has never. Let me read this to you. You see something now. Please desire wisdom more than gold, more than silver. It takes wisdom to raise a family. It takes wisdom to have a glorious life. It takes wisdom to be successful. It takes wisdom to solve life difficult problems. If you are not enjoying your marriage now, if there is serious crisis between you and your spouse, wisdom is lacking. If there is no money in your pocket, I'm sorry for those that are actual, look at that person beside you. If it's a woman, touch her bag. If it's a man, use tie to touch his pocket area. Ask, is there money there? Is there money there? Is there money there? Is there money there? I say, ask, is there money there? Is there money there? Is there money there? Whatever is the answer, just say wisdom. Wisdom is lacking. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Wisdom, 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 wisdom. You need wisdom. You need wisdom. You need wisdom. You need wisdom. December 2003, I stopped living on salary. I entered into superlative wisdom. Totally, sir. People meet me on the road, they drop money. Flying last week from, uh, from Lagos to Abuja inside Ari. Even the air hostess queue up in the plane for me to bless them. That, sir, you are a blessing. You are a blessing. Please speak to my life. At the airport, people stop me. We entered into a lift at Transcorp. And we met one lady there. And she said, we always see you on TV. A problem solver needs no announcement. A contributor needs no announcement. Yes, I'm going somewhere. Let's go quickly. Listen to what wisdom we do. Wisdom, she offers you long life in her right hand. Riches and honor in her left. The right hand of wisdom gives you long life. The left hand of wisdom gives you riches and honor. Look at those three things. Long life, riches, and honor. So what else do you need? Everything is in wisdom. Wisdom is the master solution. 
Now, now look at the next, because I'm out of time, I need to. Now, everybody see you. Wisdom will guide you down delightful paths. So, wisdom offers direction. All the ways of wisdom are satisfying. All the ways of wisdom are pleasantness. Fighting this one, that one is your enemy. You leave that place, you can't go back there. You, you see? Wisdom is lacking. What is it that will make a man to be beating his wife? Not to talk of a, a woman beating her husband. And Junior is saying, Mommy, leave daddy. Daddy, leave mommy. Ah, no. How can you enjoy your wife? No, those things are not it. Are just demonstrations of foolishness. Yes, quickly. <laughs> Wisdom is a tree of life to those who embrace her. Happy are those who hold her tightly. You have to hold wisdom tightly. Be deliberate. Pursue wisdom. Be intentional about wisdom. Otherwise, life will be miserable. Yes. They bring on their Stotolia at Dita Cash. By wisdom, the Lord founded the heart. Even the Lord founded the heart by wisdom. By understanding, he created the heavens. Quickly, what is wisdom? I will give you two definitions, give you three ways to get wisdom, and I'm through in the first service. Every kitty, a gito keria, a gita cash. What is wisdom? Number one, wisdom is knowing the right thing to do per time and doing it at the appropriate time. Wisdom is knowing the right thing to do per time and doing it. No medicine like it. No magic like it. No power like it. Wisdom is knowing the right thing to do per time and doing it. That is to say, under this condition, keep quiet. Don't ruffle your face. Just say yes, sir. If you do contrary wise, you are a fool. You are a fool. The season you are now demands sacrifice. Capacity to be focused and not be distracted so that you pay the price for a glorious future. If you do otherwise, you are a fool. Knowing the right thing to do and doing it at the right time, not at the wrong time. Wisdom is knowing the right thing to do and doing it at the right time. You are the wisest of all men. You know what Jesus said? Whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him. Number two definition of wisdom. Wisdom is knowing the will of God per time and doing it. Wisdom is knowing the will of God per time and doing it. I pray for wisdom more than I pray for any other thing. Please covet wisdom. What is the essence of life when you don't know the right thing to do per time? A lot of people, they speak at the wrong time. They move at the wrong time. Their attitude betray them completely until they have no future again. My prayer for somebody that will say the loudest amen this morning, may you be filled with the spirit of wisdom. Yeah. Listen. At every point in time, you know the will of God and you do it. At every point in time, you know the right thing to do. You, you, you have initiative. You are proactive. You are intelligent. You are humble and you are not stupid. Capacity to know the will of God per time and doing the same. Finally, number three, what is wisdom? Somebody shout with me. Say, what is wisdom? I'm thinking you will scream it authoritatively. What is wisdom? Louder and louder. What is wisdom? Finally, for this first service, wisdom is knowing what to ignore. Let me tell you, the number one way you know a fool, they don't know what to ignore. In this 21st century, you better know quickly what to ignore. So that you can fulfill your destiny. We started first service 
by 6.45. It's possible now that a lot of breaking news. 99% gossips. Somebody says so, so, so about you. Does that affect you? If you don't know what to ignore, you will be ignored. Life will be terrible. Wisdom helps you to organize your life, set priorities. Knowing what to ignore and not to give attention to. Let's close. I, I, I'm sure somebody is gaining something already. I fire into your heart the wisdom of God right now. <laughs> Understand that wisdom is a spirit. The spirit of wisdom. Quickly, let's close for service. How do I get wisdom? Listen, I'm talking about the wisdom of God. Number one, ask in prayers. James chapter 1 verse 5. If any lack wisdom, let them ask. If any lack wisdom, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives to all liberally and without reproach and it will be given to him. Please pray for wisdom more than you pray for any other thing. Please. If you are wiser, you will be smarter. If you are wiser, your life will be faster. And if you are wiser, your life will be richer. Three benefits of wisdom. Those who are wiser will be faster. Those who are wiser will be richer. Those who are wiser will be smarter. They will be healthier. They will be wealthier. As you are hearing me for service, just be wiser a little. Your life will be a little better. A lot of tensions you have will disappear. A lot of crises you have will vanish. There are a lot of people listening to me this morning. They didn't know it's their attitude that finished them. Please go to God in prayers. Ask for wisdom. Number two, love wisdom and pursue wisdom. Love wisdom and pursue wisdom. Tell your neighbor, love wisdom and pursue wisdom. 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that needed not be ashamed, rightly dividing the words of truth. Read biographies. Read biographies. Hey, rob minds with the great. Study the word of life. Everybody, on a daily basis, New Living Translations, Translation, New King James, maybe TPT, Study one chapter of the book of Proverbs daily. Read it in Message Bible. For one month, study one chapter of the book of Proverbs daily. Cry to God for wisdom. Number two, the authentic evidence of desire is pursued. Please pursue wisdom, sir. Quickly, number three, Limbro Hashia Agita Kosh. The Prido and the Sia, <laughs> finally, which is very important, associate with the wise. Somebody shout with me, associate with the wise. Louder and louder. This is the fundamental secret that governs wisdom. If you walk with four wise people, you will be the fifth one. If you walk with five, uh, four fools, you will be the fifth one. Let's close. Proverbs 13, 20. No problem is difficult. No problem is hard if you will just be wise. Look at Proverbs 13, 20 in the CEB Bible. Walk with wise people and become wise. Befriend fools and get in trouble. How do you get into trouble? Befriend fools. Listen to me. When Rehoboam took over from Solomon, the people of Israel came to him and said, please, the taxation your father placed on us is too much. It's too much. We, we want to be your servant for life. Reduce this tax. We will serve you for life. Rehoboam told them to come back to him. In some days time, he wants to consult. He went to the elderly 
with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know what they told him? They told him that, tell them, I will review it. I will lessen the burden. Maybe even for the first one year, tell them no more taxation. If you do like this, they will serve you forever. Then he went to the young men, no experience. They lack wisdom. Then he called the young men and said, look, look at what the entire nation has come to discuss with me. How should I answer them? Oh, the young men said, what are you talking about? Tell them, my father used a cane and koboko. Yeah. <laughs> Made with wood to beat you. I will use the cane and koboko made with scorpions. And they were all happy. You know, young men with no experience. The Bible says he went and explained like that to the nation. And the nation scattered. The Bible says it was from the Lord to divide them. Listen, fools divide. All you need to bring division anywhere is to just have fools there. You, you, let me tell you something. I don't want to mention name. There was a governor in Lagos then. You know, they just told him, rise up against your man, Tinumbu. Talk against him. What is the meaning of all this? You better be careful. In Nigerian politics, is the reason why Christians don't get to the top. You please, you, you have to get there first to bring a change. Are you not going to be wise? For this man, the godfather of Lagos politics, this is nonsense. No, 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 no. Get off. You, have you seen talk, people talk to you? Resign. Talk anyhow. You know, people who are not experienced about life, fools. Fools. If I were you, I would enter his office. I would not knock the door. And as I stand in front of him, I would remove my shoe. Lies up on your feet. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, I refuse to be a fool. Let me help you. To make somebody your friend, quickly weigh the wisdom level of the person. Wisdom is one of the ways you choose whether somebody will ever be your friend. This thing I'm telling you, there are people you speak to, by what they tell you and you do, your life go back in 30 years. Uh, look, I'm telling you. Look at me. I used to have a friend. He died about three or four weeks ago. Anytime I want to know what I must not do on an issue, I call him. That whatever he tells me, I know that is not what I should do. He's a man of anger, a man of bitterness, a man that, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. There are people you speak to, they, they borrow you wisdom. Please, relate with people that borrow you wisdom quickly. They, I'm, I'm closing. They, they borrow you wisdom. I thank God for the day I met Pastor David the Biome. They always borrow me wisdom. Bishop David Oedepo, they always borrow me wisdom. Please, they always, look, always, they borrow me wisdom. They, I mean, they borrow me wisdom, always. They borrow me wisdom always. Husband, borrow your wife wisdom. Wife, borrow your husband wisdom. Look at your neighbor this morning and tell your neighbor, can I borrow some wisdom from you? Let's close. Say it to another neighbor, can I borrow your wi some wisdom from you? As our life will be better. You will receive the two wings of a great eagle. As we close, yeah, let me read it in other translations quickly. Look at God's word translation. Whoever walks with wise people will be wise. But whoever associates with fools will suffer. Whosoever associates with fools will what? Will suffer. Some of you are suffering today because of the company of fools. In quote. They talk anyhow. They, 
they, are, they don't guide the affairs of their life by the word. By the word of God. There are some decisions I've taken that I thank God of. And I thank God for Pastor Esther. Always there also to say this, this, this. Look, except she doesn't know. My wife will never support anything wrong. In this life, she will never. Know that you are the one pushing your husband to hell. A tension in his office and he comes back home to tell you. And you know that the immediate boss of your husband, a, 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 a woman, <laughs> and honey, you permit, you know that if it's me now, you will be talking. And she, she told you like that. And so what did you do? And you didn't take the tea you are drinking. At least not to pour it on her, but break the cup near her leg. Let me say this to you again. Hey, guide your life with wisdom. Sir, a lot of people are fools. Guide your life with wisdom. You won't lack money. You won't lack favor. You won't lack blessings. Everybody stretch forth your two hands. We are out of time. We need to close now. I give you one minute. Stretch forth your two hands. Use me as a point of contact. Lord, rain your wisdom over my life. Is somebody ready to pray that prayer? Pray it the way you have never prayed in your life. Pray it the way you have never prayed in your life. Solving life's difficult problems. Pray it the way you have never prayed in your life. Pray it, pray it, pray it, pray it, pray it. Is somebody crying for the baptism of the spirit of wisdom? Is somebody crying for the release of the spirit of wisdom? And they say, okay, and their prayer warriors, do you really desire the spirit of wisdom? Everybody pray, repeat after me loudly, say spirit of wisdom. I want to hear you loud. Baptize me in a new way. Spirit of wisdom, fill my mind and fill my heart. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ekekete, eklede. The brigati, the brida, sir. The creeders, in Jesus' precious name. Everybody stretch forth your two hands. Globally, look at me. Life requires wisdom. Please, every day you make decisions. Thoughts full of wisdom. Words full of wisdom. Acts full of wisdom. Attitude full of wisdom. Don't jeopardize your life. Life has no spare. If you misuse this one, there is no spare tire. It's not that after misusing this one you have, there is a spear somewhere. Every day, guide your affairs with wisdom, which is doing the right thing at the right time. Wisdom is, if God is in your situation, doing exactly what God will do. Exactly. is knowing the will of God by time and doing it. Kick and see a break at his. Work on your attitude. Work on your emotions. Wisdom words. Wisdom steps. With wisdom you can fail. With wisdom you can be broke. With wisdom, even if you go down, it will be temporary. It's a setback for a setup. Please. Discretion. Innovation and creativity. I beseech you. I beseech you. Now stretch forth your two hands. Everyone that will say the loudest amen, I eliminate the spirit of foolishness from your life. Every damage foolishness has caused you, I wipe it out by the blood of the Lamb in the mighty name of Jesus. You know what the Bible says? Foolishness is deep in the heart of a child. 
every one of you that foolishness is deep in your heart. It has eaten you deep. Some people, everything they do reflects foolishness. They are friends for foolishness, folly. Stretch forth your two hands. I break the spirit of foolishness over your life. I break the spirit of foolishness over your life. For saying the loudest amen, receive the baptism of the spirit of wisdom. We are out of time. All head bowed, all eyes closed. Inside, outside, for service, globally, you are worshiping with us here at the Master's Place International Church for the very first time. You know you are not born again. Jesus is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Except a man is born again, he can partake of the mysteries of the kingdom. You can't gain access to the spirit of wisdom until you are born again. Wherever you are under the sound of my voice, this first service globally is your first time of worshiping with us here. At the Master's Place International Church, rise up on your feet and remain standing. Place your right hand on your chest. Secondly, you know you are not born again. You have not accepted Christ into your heart as your Lord and Savior. Remain standing. Place your right hand on your chest. Repeat this prayer the loudest after me. Say it out loud. Say, Lord Jesus. I can't hear you. Even online. Say, it. Say, Lord Jesus. I accept you into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me in Jesus' name. Now lift up your right hand. You pray that prayer. God bless you. Lift up your right hand above your head. Let me pray for you. Lift up your right hand. Ambassador, watch out for them inside the outside. Lift up your right hand properly. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree their sins be forgiven. Their names be written in the book of life. I break the power of sin and Satan over them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' precious name. Now, everybody stretch forth your two hands as we close in the first service. I decree your week is blessed. As you go now, I decree the spirit of wisdom to guide you. No misfortune on your part. I decree that wisdom will guide you. Discretion will guide you. Whatever damages or damage as it were, you have suffered by foolishness. I reverse it by the wisdom of God. Lift up your two hands and thank you. Wow, what a word this morning. Let's go ahead and appreciate the Lord this morning for that word. That depth of revelation and wisdom. Open your mouth and appreciate him this morning. Say, Father, I thank you for that word. Thank you for those words of instruction and wisdom. We give you praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. What a world this morning, my God. Come on, join me this morning. Let's celebrate God's servant, our Father. Thank you so much, sir, for that word. What do we say to God's servant, Master's place? Thank you, sir. Kindly you take your seats, everyone here in the auditorium, as we have the opportunity to practice the wisdom of God in our finances, financial wisdom in the kingdom. Let's package our offerings, our tithes, every other seed we are given this morning. If you need envelopes, just wave your hands. Ambassadors will give you one. We want to give via check. Let it be in favor of the Master's Place International Church and kindly put your phone number on the flip side. You are giving towards a, a Dreamland project, a Master's TV, other partnership arms of the ministry. Account details have been displayed on the screen. Earlier on, you can take advantage. USSD codes are currently being displayed on the screen. You can send in your transfers via in a, any of these means. If you want to give your debit card, just lift it up, pray along with us while we're done praying. At the foyer there, you can see our officials there with our POS terminals to complete your givings. If you've done that, begin to speak words to your seat this morning. Open your mouth and speak forth the expectation that you have for the seed you are sowing this morning. Connect an expectation to your seed this morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the word that we've received this morning. Lord, we decree, as we have brought our seeds this morning, blessings upon everyone in Jesus' name. We decree multiplied harvest for every seed we are sowing this morning in Jesus' name. Bountiful returns on all our seeds in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
let us cast our seeds this morning with gladness of heart and let's put our eyes on the screen for the brief. Welcome to the master's place. Great atmosphere of worship and fellowship it was in church today. And as always, the word came in power and potency, empowering us for a life of uncommon victory over life's difficult problem. If you are a first-time guest or new convert in our midst, we are super delighted to welcome you to our fold. We trust that this service blessed your life in many ways. The next step in your journey to being rooted in this house is going through our membership school. The membership school is where young converts are equipped with foundational principles for a firm and flourishing walk with God. Classes kicks off right after the close of the fourth service and runs through the week from Monday to Friday by 4.30 p.m. And on Saturday, a specialized class with water baptism holds here in church by 8 a.m. If you haven't gone through the membership school, do kindly take advantage of this opportunity. The prophetic word for this month, my case is different, has been speaking volumes all through the days of April. And what more can be best than putting a final seal to prophecy than encountering in full dimension the power to be different? Your case can truly be different. Yes, this is the prophetic encounter that we will be engaging on Wednesday, the 27th of April by 4.30 p.m. It will be one fresh fire service never to miss for anything. The Faculty of Marriage General Premarital Class holds this Friday, the 29th of April by 4.30 p.m. This is a specialized class for intending couple who desire to get married in church or outside of church. Here, every attendee learns foundational nuggets on how to build a lasting marital union and are equally shown the ropes for a successful marriage by our seasoned faculty. Every prospective couple and single in the house should make it a date. We are a people that believes in affection and sense of family, and Home Connect offers the opportunity to give full expression to this unique nature as we meet at our various Home Connect centers this Saturday, the 30th of April, by 5 p.m. To locate the center closest to you, kindly visit the Home Connect desk after the service. We live in a world that requires attention. People complain that there are problems everywhere, both physically, spiritually and every spheres of life. The good news is, you can be that solution. All you need is an encounter and that you will find in power for instant deliverance on Sunday 1st May 2022 as Pastor Kurode Kumaya is fully loaded by the power of the Holy Spirit to cause a change in your life. In our six services, 6.45 a.m., 8.15 a.m., 9.45 a.m., 11.15 a.m., 2 p.m., and of course, 4 p.m. It is also our Thanksgiving, Dedication and Native Affairs Sunday, where we come with a heart of gratitude. Be a part of God's move this Sunday. As a church, we have never entered into a new month casually without a prophetic word going ahead of us. The word for the month of May has been declared. I am delivered from every bondage, and it behoves on us to see to it that prophecies don't fail over us. To this end, every member of church is expected to plan towards a forthcoming three days fasting and prayer for the month of May starting Monday 2nd to Wednesday 4th of May with round-the-clock prayers. Also, special communion service for the new month will hold on Wednesday 4th by 4.30 p.m. Here is good news for all the men and brothers in the house. On Saturday, the 7th of May by 7 a.m., there will be a special men's breakfast meeting with Pastor Koride Kumaya. Exciting details will unfold in the coming days about this epoch-making event. All men 18 years and above are by this information admonished to pray, plan, and prepare for the special men's breakfast meeting. From the rising of the sun
day the right boost by starting off with Millionaire Embrace, our daily devotional. You can get access to this daily wisdom connector on Pastor Keke's Facebook page or on the TMP mobile app or via our website www.themastersplace.org. Also, you can connect and engage the Master's Place and Pastor Koretiko Meyer on social media using the handles displayed on the screen. You can equally plug into the world of inspiring TV content on Masters TV, available on any free-to-air decoder and accessible via the TMP mobile app. See you in church on Wednesday. We celebrate you. Welcome to the Masters Place. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? All right. We encourage every one of us, let's stick to add all of the information in the course of the brief. And most importantly, all first ladies in the house, if you're a first lady, come and make a joyful noise. Yeah. All first ladies in the house, starting from this Tuesday and Thursday, our Mother's Day rehearsals will start by 4.30 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if you're a lady 18 and above, you are a first lady, uh, you are a first lady please take this information to add and be a part of the rehearsals. And coming Sunday, power for instant deliverance. There's a small card like this, just like a business card. You can take many of them, endeavor to invite all your friends and loved ones to be a part of that. And coming Sunday, it's also a special native uh, uh, affair, please. Endeavor to come dressed for the occasion. And of course, the prophetic service for that prophetic entrance. Normally, we have the first day of every month is our prophetic entrance. So the first service of that day will be the prophetic entrance for the month. That will be by the 6.45 a.m., which is the normal time for our first service. Before we close in the service this morning, we'd like to receive warmly two sets of persons. You gave your heart to Christ. You prayed that prayer of salvation when God's servant led. And for those who are watching online, it's your first worship experience online. Text the word new to the information on the display. We'll reach out to you as well. You got saved. Come on, text the word saved to the information on the display. We'll reach out to you as well. For the word that we've received this morning, let's appreciate him. For those words of wisdom that we've received this morning, our lives will never remain the same again. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Look to your neighbor this morning and say, neighbor, I celebrate you. Have a wonderful week.